If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. A room without books is like a body without a soul. It is a great thing to know your vices. A happy life consists in tranquility of mind. Freedom is a possession of inestimable value. It is our own evil thoughts which madden us. Times are bad. Children no longer obey their parents, and everyone is writing a book. They who say that we should love our fellow citizens but not foreigners, destroy the universal brotherhood of mankind, with which benevolence and justice would perish forever. I am not ashamed to confess I am ignorant of what I do not know. When you wish to instruct, be brief, that men's minds take in quickly what you say, learn its lesson, and retain it faithfully. Every word that is unnecessary only pours over the side of a brimming mind. There is nothing so absurd but some philosopher has said it. Few are those who wish to be endowed with virtue rather than to seem so. To be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to remain always a child. For what is the worth of human life, unless it is woven into the life of our ancestors by the records of history? In times of war, the law falls silent. Your enemies can kill you, but only your friends can hurt you. Our span of life is brief, but is long enough for us to live well and honestly. Nothing stands out so conspicuously, or remains so firmly fixed in the memory, as something which you have blundered. Hours and days and months and years go by, the past returns no more, and what is to be we cannot know. But whatever the time gives us in which we live, we should therefore be content. If we are not ashamed to think it, we should not be ashamed to say it. Read at every weight. Read at all hours. Read within leisure. Read in times of labor. Read as one goes in. Read as one goest out. The task of the educated mind is simply put, read to lead. Law applied to its extreme is the greatest injustice. The enemy is within the gates. It is with our own luxury, our own folly, our own criminality that we have to contend. Men decide far more problems by hate, love, lust, rage, sorrow, joy, hope, fear, illusion or some other inward emotion, than by reality, authority, any legal standard, judicial precedent, or statute. To teach is a necessity, to please is a sweetness, to persuade is a victory. Friendship improves happiness and abates misery, by doubling our joys and dividing our grief. Not to know what has been transacted in former times is to be always a child. If no use is made of the labors of past ages, the world must remain always in the infancy of knowledge. Not for ourselves alone are we born. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Freedom is participation in power. The function of wisdom is to discriminate between good and evil. 
cultivation of the mind is as necessary as food to the body. Dogs wait for us faithfully. For there is but one essential justice which cements society, and one law which establishes this justice. This law is right reason, which is the true rule of all commandments and prohibitions. Whoever neglects this law, whether written or unwritten, is necessarily unjust and wicked. Where is their dignity unless there is honesty? Knowledge which is divorced from justice may be called cunning rather than wisdom. The man who backbites an absent friend, nay, who does not stand up for him when another blames him, the man who angles for bursts of laughter and for the repute of a wit, who can invent what he never saw, who cannot keep a secret. That man is black at heart. Mark and avoid him. Any man can make mistakes, but only an idiot persists in his error. Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all the idea of God. I prefer the most unfair peace to the most righteous war. Trust no one unless you have eaten much salt with him. Kindness is stronger than fear. Endless money forms the sinews of war. He only employs his passion who can make no use of his reason. A man of faith is also full of courage. Memory is the treasury and guardian of all things. A friend is a second self. We must not only obtain wisdom, we must enjoy her. The life given us by nature is short, but the memory of a well-spent life is eternal. The face is a picture of the mind with the eyes as its interpreter. I criticize by creation, not by finding fault. We must not say every mistake is a foolish one. Life is nothing without friendship. It is foolish to tear one's hair in grief as though sorrow would be made less by baldness. Six mistakes mankind keeps making century after century, believing that personal gain is made by crushing others, worrying about things that cannot be changed or corrected, insisting that a thing is impossible because we cannot accomplish it, refusing to set aside trivial preferences, neglecting development and refinement of the mind, attempting to compel others to believe and live as we do.